Hey guys, uh, really quickly I'm going to show you how to buy a domain name. And when I say domain name, that just means the name of what your website is going to be. Okay, so that's just a fancy name <laughs> for your website name, okay? Alright, I'm going to take you through the steps. I use GoDaddy. I really like GoDaddy. I've used them for quite a while. Um, just my personal preference. If you're using something else, I just personally like like this company. Uh, very good customer service um, if you do have a problem or anything like that. So anyway, if you type in up here www.godaddy.com and I'll have a link down below this video that you can click on as well. What you want to do right here in this box is you want to, if you have an idea for what your website name is going to be, uh, let's say that you're making a site for Infinity Downline. Let's just try something right here. We could say, um, let's think about this, Infinity Downline Success, okay? And we just search for that. Okay, so check this out. Infinity Downline Success is available okay and it will have a green check mark here showing you that it's available if you want to buy this um, this again this is going to be your website name you're going to click add right here left click add and in this little box right here it's going to show that domain name and you're going to left click continue to registration Okay. Now let me show you some very specific things right here that you kind of don't need um, so you don't get caught up in these kind of upsells right here. But right here uh, in this box, we, it gives you the option of registration length. Um, I just do one year. Um, if you, if you want to do more than that, I think it's on the safe side just to do one year in case you move on to something else or you have another business and you don't want to renew it. Always do one year. Okay. Uh, we'll have your contact information. I've signed in with an account here. Very easy to do that if you don't have one of those. Um, you want to go probably go with uncertified. This, this is really not a big deal. If, if you move your mouse cursor over these little um, information points, it'll show you what it means. Don't worry about being um, uncertified or certified. Okay. Um, part three here. Always go with standard. You don't need uh, privacy and protect, protect, protected registration. This stuff is kind of unnecessary. You don't need that. Okay, uh, step four here. Uh, never add an email to this unless you specifically want to, but I've never do this and don't worry about this, okay? Uh, you can just start a new Gmail account or something like that, so don't worry about these email addresses whatsoever. Uh, make sure nothing is checked. You don't need um, search engine visibility, anything like that. I'm going to show you how to do all that stuff. You don't need an SSL certificate. Okay, make sure none of this is checked. Okay, click next. Okay, it's going to show you right here the term is one year. Let's see, uh, it's going to be $13.17. You're only paying $13.17 for the entire year okay then that's it and when you get ready you just continue to check out and you're going to check out with whatever credit card you can pay th I personally pay through PayPal I'm not going to buy this domain name but it is a good idea um, for you to um, to look into that to buy that because people do search for infinity downline success and if you have that name in the domain title I'm going to help you out a little bit in the search engines but that's buying a domain name very simple um, you can do that um, very quickly. Uh, don't don't overcomplicate the process whatsoever, and just uh, go in there and walk through that and get that domain. Okay. Thanks a lot. At step two, I'm going to be showing you um, how to do hosting and how to forward a domain to your hosting provider. Okay.